This video has been brought to you by DataVinci Analytics Agency. Hello everyone, in this session we are going to discuss the recent updates from Google on Google Analytics and these updates are important because uh, these updates are around uh, Google Signals and uh, for those of you who are aware of uh, Google Signals then it has a significant impact on uh, how the tracking is done uh, on the product. So as Google has announced uh, changes to this, I felt that it's important for everyone who is in the digital analytics and digital marketing community to be aware of how this is going to be impacting your reporting and tracking. So we have uh, Anirudh over here who is kind of the Lord Hokage when it comes to uh, Data Vinci Consulting. He is the lead of the entire digital analytics uh, function. So since it's an important update, so I felt that there cannot be any better person who can enlighten us on how this uh, update is going to impact the tracking of uh, Google Analytics. So uh, Anirudh, uh, let's start by first uh, understanding what are Google signals for those of us who do not understand whether this feature was there or not. And uh, this feature, what, what does this feature do? So what is, uh, what are Google signals or what is Google signals? Okay, uh, first of all, Sanmeet, thank you for having me on this uh, podcast. I'm really pleased to be here and share uh, some of the insights into what Google signals are for our viewers mm -hmm. or listeners. Um, so in simple terms, uh, Google signals is a feature in Google Analytics that uh, leverages the user of the data of signed in users to okay. a Google account. So let's say uh, you as a user have signed into a mobile device on your Google account and then also on, uh, let's say, on your on your desktop, on your mm -hmm. browser. Mm -hmm. And if you are viewing the same website uh, across multiple platforms, then GA4 leveraging these Google signals data will try to uh, build that uh, insight into uh, saying that you are the same user. Okay, so, so that's... So this is applicable only to Chrome or uh, uh, if Google is able to identify that someone is signed into any of the Google product, then it is uh, able to uh, get this information. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, as soon as you are signed into any Google account, uh, mm. it, 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 it doesn't matter if you're only on a Chrome or on my, uh, Edge, if you, have, if you have signed into a Google account, it will count you as the single user. So that's one of the, uh, you know, positives of using Google Signals. Mm -hmm. And uh, as we uh, discuss more on uh, what, what Google Signals help uh, marketers or, uh, you know, like analysts in getting more information from the user, mm -hmm. uh, we'll see that uh, if you have turned on Google Signals, you'll also kind of get uh, data around demographics and uh, uh, interests. So okay. since you are kind of consenting to uh, give your data to GA4, it will get information of your uh, your age, your uh, interests, your you know location, and all of that. So that's uh, how GA4 leverages. The Google Signals is a feature that is uh, available only in Google uh, Analytics Four. It was not available in Universal Analytics, right? Yeah. And but in right. Universal Analytics, also this uh, information around uh, the demographics, the interests, uh, and other things that you are mentioning was uh, present. Uh, so in in Google Google Analytics Four to get this information around the demographics and psychographics, uh, one needs to enable uh, Google signals. Yeah, yeah. so, so in, in UA, uh, in UA, what used to happen is uh, you used to get this information right, right out of the box. Mm -hmm. But in GA4, because of these uh, privacy compliances and, uh, you know, the implications around uh, user privacy and mm -hmm. uh, data tracking. So this feature was uh, added as a, uh, an extra feature that needs to be turned on before uh, people could get uh, insights over these data. Okay, so it's it's now no longer going to be dependent on the double click cookie. It's uh, only directly based on signals. Yeah, that's correct. All right. So uh, can you explain a bit or elaborate on uh, what are the benefits uh, when it comes to uh, enabling uh, Google signals? Yeah, so as I already alluded to earlier, uh, it greatly helps in uh, understanding cross device and cross platform uh, user journey. Mm -hmm. of a single user. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the major benefits of uh, turning on Google Signals. And uh, since Google Signals allows you to report on demographics and interests, you know, it uh, helps you in creating some focused audiences within Google Analytics, mm -hmm. which can be then, uh, you know, exported to your uh, ad accounts like Google Ads for uh, improving your remarketing. Uh, yes, uh, uh, your remarketing. So amazing. Yeah, so, so, uh, so, 
if we have to summarize the benefits, then essentially there are three three benefits what I can understand. So first is you are going to get your psychographics and demographics report by enabling Google Signals. The second uh, advantage is that once you enable this, then you are getting the, the user uh, the profile of the user across the different platforms. So it's not going to be only dependent on the cookie. So someone uh, who is irrespective of where they're signing, as long as they're using the Google account and they're signing into that product. Yeah. So Google will be able to identify that. And third is that once you are able to identify a person using Google signals, I think this is anonymously identified. It's a black box for Google is identified. Yeah, yeah. So you can use this anonymous. to create audiences and share that uh, information across the different uh, ad products integrated with Google Analytics for better uh, marketing efforts. Amazing. So, so what what were the downsides uh, when it comes to Google Signals uh, when uh, in in uh, Google Analytics four? Because there were some concerns around it as well. Yeah. So Google Signals had one major downside that a lot of people were complaining to Google about, and that was around data thresholding. So mm -hmm. uh, it basically means that if uh, your website is uh, capturing less than 500 uh, monthly average users mm -hmm. uh, per day, mm -hmm. then that means that uh, your data will be uh, you know, withheld. So you will not get the full uh, reporting capabilities within GA4 UI. So that was, that was one of the major concerns around uh, turning on Google signals. Uh, we saw, I think, a drop of around 15 to 20 percent in one of our uh, in one of the cases where conversions, even though uh, there were, let's say, 100 conversions, uh, we were only seeing 80 conversions uh, because mm -hmm. you know, Google Signals was like withholding the rest 20 conversions. So that was that was one of the major uh, downsides of turning on Google Signals. So and we, another, sorry, so, yeah. So that that is applicable to only the websites who are getting less than 500, or in general, the thresholding was getting applied for uh, the bigger volumes as well uh, yeah so also. it was kind of yeah it was kind of uh, random in some cases uh, you know official google documentation says that if you have uh, 500 uh, monthly average users per day for your property then the thresholding will not be applied but we saw that in some cases even though you know the user count was a lot more than that uh, there was still you know some data being uh, withhold okay so that was a very complicated situation because on one side, by enabling Google Signals, we'll uh, assume that the quality of data and the quality of marketing attribution would improve because now Google is able to track that person across different uh, platforms. But at the same time, you're saying that the absolute volume of data was getting compromised. So uh, uh, this, this I, I can understand that uh, when you're saying that uh, if, if only 80 or 85 was getting reported while the actual number is 100, then uh, considering how Google Analytics has been received so far, Google Signals was uh, was confusing the people more about the effectiveness of using Google Signals, Google Analytics for their digital optimization, right? Yes, yes. And I think that was one of the major reasons why uh, Google opted to, you know, uh, disregard uh, Google Signals at least in a reporting identity so that, so that uh, these reports would not be compromised in the future. Okay, so can you elaborate more on this update? So when you say that... Uh, they are going to remove Google Signals from reporting identity. How does it impact? And uh, is Google Signals going to be still used in some aspects of the product or it's going to be totally removed? Yeah, so uh, on, uh, I think, February 12th of uh, 2024, uh, this uh, will be removed. Google Signals will be re removed from report, uh, reporting identity. Mm -hmm. What that means is that for all of the reports within GA4 UI, Mm -hmm. uh, reporting identity, uh, sorry, Google signals would not be uh, involved in uh, in the reports. That mm -hmm. with, what that means is that uh, GF GF will still be collecting uh, data around Google signals. So you will have your interest and demographics uh, data still being reported, mm -hmm. but your Google signals data will not be utilized for uh, reporting on your events and your conversions and all of that stuff. So that was one of the major uh, updates. I think that will happen. The other one is that obviously uh, we we discussed that uh, Google Signals was being used for cross-device tracking and cross-platform tracking. So that can be compromised if uh, if uh, Google Signals is turned off from the reporting identity. But we've seen that uh, I think mostly like the effect will not be that high. Uh, in, uh, I think that's, yeah. So I think that's one of the major uh, mm -hmm. downsides to not having Google Signals. But I think the effect will not be very high. Okay, so now what you're saying is that even though Google 
would be parting away with uh, Google Signals when it comes to Google Analytics 4. Uh, so even without Google Signals, we will be able to get the demographics reports and the psychographic yeah. uh, psychographics yeah, reports. Yeah. Can we also create the audiences uh, then? Because... We can still create the audiences will not be affected. Okay, so the audiences are still there. The benefit one is uh, like benefit two or three is still there, and the benefit of getting the demographic reports and uh, psychographic uh, psych, psych, psychographic reports is still there. But uh, the major concerns which were there around uh, the accuracy of data that was getting compromised when uh, Google Signals were, were enabled. So that downside is not going to be there. So we are going to get yeah, so kind of best of both the worlds. So we are going to get the demographics data and we are going to be able to create audiences with it and share it with the ad products and uh, uh, improve the marketing efforts. And there's going to be no downside of the tracking accuracy or the reporting accuracy. That's correct. Yeah. So the thresholding will be greatly improved then. So we'll not have uh, reports that are uh, missing around 20, 20%, 15% of data as we, we, we saw before when Google Signals was turned on. Okay. So so uh, as users, uh, do we need to do something uh, on, on the UI or anything on the configuration or this update would be automatically uh, um, released for everyone who is using Google Analytics? Yeah, so if you have turned on Google Signals and it is part of your reporting identity, you don't need to do anything uh, mm -hmm. on on. February 12th, it, which it would be replicated automatically. If you, however, do want to see the impact of turning off Google Signals for your property, you can do that manually by turning off Google Signals and seeing how that is uh, impacting your data. We don't have a lot of uh, time. I think uh, it's only for one month, so you can just you know uh, see how it is affecting your data for the for, for the coming month, and then see whether uh, it is something that uh, is going to impact your business or not. But if we turn off Google Signals uh, to uh, experience that, like watch the impact, so that is going to take away the demographic reports and the psychographic reports as well, which uh, after the release is not going to be the case, right? So if we turn off, yeah. it, uh, turn it off right now, so we are only going to see the impact on the reporting accuracy. However, at the downside that we will also not be able to see the demographic not reports, be able to psycho the demographic. psychographic reports. Yeah. But what you're saying is after February 12th, we can get these uh, demographic insights along with yeah, yeah. Uh, more accurate reporting enabled with Google Signals. That's correct. Yeah. yeah so all because, of your demographic and psychographic will not be affected. Yeah, because what I, I remember, because I was part of that uh, case where after enabling Google Signals, the accuracy uh, had abruptly gone down and there were concerns from uh, the partner side that why suddenly the accuracy has gone down and there were no changes made uh, on, on the dev end or from tag manager. And it was purely because of Google signals and it was turned on by, uh, turned on by a marketing agency. So the marketing agencies to optimize their remarketing efforts, uh, they prefer to uh, turn on Google signals. However, the product team, since uh, it affects the accuracy of the data, they do not like it. So I think with this update, we are going to get the best of both the worlds and uh, it will only make the product uh, better and re re reducing certain aspects of uh, uh, confusions uh, which is associated with uh, Google Analytics 4. So I, I think it's a positive leap forward and I am personally excited about this uh, update. So let's see how, how it pans out. And I hope that the company does a very uh, good job in rolling this out in a structured manner without any bugs and confusions. Yeah. That's right. I think that's that's what we hope can hope for uh, from Google. Right, amazing. So I think uh, this was a good discussion to have, and uh, you have explained it in a very uh, short and sweet manner. Uh, so if whoever is watching it, if you have any comments or you have any questions, then feel free to put that uh, in the comments on whichever platform you're accessing this content. And uh, yeah, we'll get back to you. Maybe some of the questions or anything uh, that you are aware of that we are missing on this uh, in this discussion also, feel free to put that in. Uh, we'll try to remain consistent with this, for this effort of uh, coming up with more discussions like this. But uh, whoever is watching it, we thank you for your time. And I hope you were able to learn something about uh, the product with this uh, discussion. Again, Anrudh, uh, thank you for taking out time and uh, explaining everyone about this uh, new update that is coming with uh, Google Analytics. Thank you, Sanmeet. Thank you for having me on the podcast. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Cheers, everyone. Thank you.